Coast State College moving forward with a cutting-edge project after Triumph Gulf Coast approved a grant for about $5 million to go towards the program. As News 13's Erica Orsted tells us, the goal is to make emergency response faster and better than ever before. In the aftermath of Hurricane Michael, we learned a lot, things that uh, decision makers needed to know when they didn't. Crucial damage and safety information is vital when every second counts. The best way to help people quickly is to make sure that the people who are responsible for getting help on the way know what to expect when they get there. That's the idea behind the Gulf Coast Regional Center for Emergency Response and Communication. We're going to be the first facility that operates to stop the technology. I do think that it'll put us on the map in terms of emergency management first responders. It uses advanced drone and satellite technology with aerial, land and underwater capabilities along with a mobile command center. Bay County emergency management leaders say it's a game changing asset. It will be something state of the art as we continue to build. These are rough models of what the mobile command centers will look like, giving operators a vehicle to collect data from disaster sites and send it to decision makers within minutes. A lot of folks from around the United States, and especially over here in the southeastern corner, they're going to want to come over here to kind of see what our operations are and how we do business. Dr. Holdnack says the equipment is meant to be used across the Gulf region with trained operators available to deploy at a moment's notice. We think that uh, we're right there on the cutting edge of where um, things are going. He says they're working to launch the program next fall. In Panama City, Erica Orstadt, News 13, Panhandle Strong.